Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here with Jensen's. Hope that all you guys out there are having a great day today or evening or whatever time it is. Today, I got some first impressions for you. Earlier today, I got the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans Pride Edition in. I've been wearing it throughout the day and now it's time for me to give you my first impressions. So in case you're unaware of what this fragrance is, this is a new Le Mans slash Gaultier Classique flanker. And I say that because the fragrance that's inside here is the exact same fragrance that's inside the classic bottle version of this same scent. So basically you can choose which bottle type you want. You can go with the Lamal uh, male looking bottle, or you can go with the female looking classic bottle, but whichever one you go with, it's the same fragrance on the inside. It's what's on the inside that counts. We all know that. You learned that as a kid. So it's a gender neutral fragrance, essentially unisex fragrance. Anybody can pull it off. That's the idea behind this one. So like always, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation. I'm gonna break the fragrance down for you and let you know whether or not you should Check this one out. So let's jump into it. Let's kick it off with the presentation. What a surprise. So here you have the can, not the box, the can. Got the name of the house, name of the fragrance on the front here, liberty, equality, sexuality. On the back of the can, it says, this limited edition is proud to wear a Jean-Paul Gaultier vintage ready to wear design and collaborate with LGBTQ plus associations. For more details, visit www.jeanpaulgaultier.com. Then on the bottom of the can, you can find your badge code, but it is hard to see, really hard. It says 13191. And then in case for some strange reason you've never seen this presentation before, the bottom pops off and the bottle sits inside a little stand here, like so. And here we have the bottle. It's wearing a little really dinky kind of t-shirt almost. It's really stretchy and, and feels a little cheap, but you know, whatever. Same design from the can. That's what you're gonna find on the little t-shirt on the Lamal bottle here. Liberty, equality, sexuality right there on the front once again. And it's your typical Lamal bottle style. Only this one kind of looks like the Silver Surfer. So if you took off the t-shirt, this is Lamal Silver Surfer essentially. On the bottom, you will find your badge code a little bit easier to read on the bottom of the bottle. And what say you, we go ahead and blast out a couple sprays from the old Lamal here. See how the atomizer is. This is a, a little bit of a spoiler, but it's the same as every other <laughs> Lamal bottle. Here we go. Really good. Now, just to be completely clear here, in case there's even the tiniest bit of confusion, there was a Lamal Pride Edition collector's bottle from Lamal in 2020, but it looked like this and it is not the same fragrance as this one. This is completely different, something completely new. That collector's edition bottle is just Lamal but in a different bottle. Now, the important thing, how does it smell? Is it something you should check out? Is it worth it? Is it maybe leaning too feminine? Does it lean masculine, completely unisex? What's the deal? Well, the opening here smells very good. The citrus in here is once again, a little bit rindy. Yeah, that's becoming popular. That's like the new thing, apparently. Light Blue Forever came out and the rindiness in that kind of caught me off guard, didn't expect it. But now it's becoming a little bit more prominent here lately. And that could be nothing. Maybe you don't really see all that many rindy, citrusy designer fragrances in the near future, but it's interesting that here lately that started to crop up more often. So it's Yuzu and Blood Orange in the open. I get a little more yuzu than I do blood orange. And again, it's a little bit rindy, but it's not anywhere near as rindy as light blue forever. And also not as rindy as I'd say uh, Italian love, the two light blues. But it still does have a touch of that, little touch of rindiness. I like it a lot. There's musk that you can pick up immediately behind that rindy citrus opening. It's a little bit airy to me, like an airy sort of fresh, clean muskiness. My wife, when she smelled it, actually said, I love the citrus. It does smell a little bit synthetic to me, is what she said. It doesn't come across overly synthetic when I smell it, just very much like a clean, maybe even slightly, slightly soapy, airy muskiness that's supporting that citrus. Now, as it dries down, of course, that citrus is going to dissipate. So that rindiness, it doesn't stick around all that long. And what comes in underneath that is going to be white florals, which is kind of interesting because they also impart a little bit of a citrus feeling, but without some of that, that sharpness, that brightness. Instead, the orange blossom and the neroli, they're a little bit smoother, softer, but still with a slight 
citrusy tinge around the edges. It has a nice sweetness, like a pillowy kind of sweetness that works in with the musk and the white florals. And I think through the mid, it still smells very good. Interestingly, that, that muskiness, you know, that kind of airy, clean white musk, I pick up more of that in the top. Once it starts to work its way through the mid and the yuzu and the blood orange fades away and the white florals come in, the muskiness kind of chills out a little bit. That is until you hit the dry down. And then at that point, it's mainly just the musk and kind of like a slightly ambroxony woodiness. And I gotta say for a really simple, easy going summertime fragrance, something that's not challenging at all, that does have a little bit of nuance to it, but is very straightforward in the way it's done. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, it's sweet citrus and white florals with musk, which has been done a million billion times, but it smells very pleasant. It's the type of scent that you could spray on 10, 12, 15 times legitimately without a worry in the world. Nobody's gonna dislike it. Even if you're one of those people that says that you don't like rindiness in your citrus at all, it fades away so quickly into the white florals that it doesn't matter a huge amount in the grand scheme of things. But for people like me that do like that kind of nuance in their citrus every now and again, it makes it a little interesting off the top. Does it smell anything like the original Lamal? No, no, to me, it doesn't really smell like that at all. I can't really draw a comparison from the original to this one, period. Uh, to me, as far as the, all the flankers go, I mean, nah, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of running through the uh, Lamal Rolodex in my brain. Uh, there's a lot of Lamal fragrances in case you're unaware, but it doesn't really smell like the old Flair du Mal fragrances at all. Those had florals in them, but they had much more of a push. They were much more aggressive. They definitely had a little bit more going on. This is more of the type of fragrance that kind of sits on you like a second skin, you know, that kind of deal. Just a really pleasant little aura, like a little bubble around you. Maybe if you really stretch it, you could say something something like the Eau line, if you strip out uh, all of that bubble gum off the top, all that sweetness, and replace that with a very pleasant, soft, white, floral, citrus scent profile. But again, I don't think those are all that close either, frankly. So it kind of is standing on its own, doing its own thing. That's pretty much what it is. I think they could have done a better job with the cut on my t-shirt here. It's just all screwed up. Like one side is a little bit bigger than the other. I thought Jean-Paul Gaultier was supposed to be a, a fashion house. What, what's with the quality of this t-shirt, man? It's garbage. Now, in terms of performance, as I just mentioned, it makes a nice little bubble around you. It actually lasts a lot longer than you might expect. When you first spray this on, you know it's not gonna be a powerhouse. It's not that it's immediately a skin scent or coming across like water or something like it's just going to fade immediately or anything like that. But you can tell with that airiness that it has mixing with the citrus and the orange blossom, the neroli, you know right away, it's not a big time beast mode scent. But you also immediately know when you spray it on that it's not at all trying to be that. Now I've actually had pretty good luck today with it lingering on my skin for a while. Five, six hours, no problem. The projection, is more moderate. Like I said, not really beastly. You can smell it pretty easily initially from the top into the mid, but after that, it does make more of a personal scent cloud. It sits on your skin a little bit softer, but that is again, the type of scent this is. So I can't really fault it too much. If you're wanting massive performance though, you're not gonna find it here. In terms of seasons, more of a summertime scent. You could wear it during the spring also, definitely more of a daytime scent than an evening scent. Overall, I've really liked the fragrance today. It's fresh, clean, little bit soapy, super easy to wear. And as far as whether it's unisex or more masculine or more feminine, for me, I think it's right down the middle, unisex. So yeah, exactly what they were going for there. Anybody can pull this off realistically. Maybe some people would think it's ever so slightly leaning feminine, but at its heart, this is a white floral scent. So I think, if you're comfortable wearing something like Neroli Portofino, if that doesn't give you any issues, then this really shouldn't either. So there we go, Lamal Pride Edition fragrance. I like it. If you smell that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. It's available at Macy's as of right now. That's where I bought my bottle. 
off their website because I don't have a Macy's within like 250 miles of here or something. Small town Macy's, that is apparently not a thing. All right, guys, that will do it for me. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.